uh, questions for the players first? Just real quick, this is the first K Fowler's first ever triple double in the Division One era. This for anyone you guys, how would you kind of describe what the atmosphere was like in that uh, Neil Reed here tonight? Insane. Uh, I think that was one of the best games I've been a part of since I've been here. Um, you know, even with my red shirt, you're watching. Uh, uh, I've never seen the arena like this rocking and we played teams, you know, we played Tennessee here and we beat Tennessee here and um, this was the craziest atmosphere I've ever been in and um, you know, you could just tell a uh, week long people were talking about this game and campus was kind of, you know, energetic about this so it was, we really appreciate everybody coming out. You, you had a rough night at the end of the shots you take us through that last sequence of the two missed shots in the end of the uh, It was just part of the routine, uh, shot from the corner, you get the opposite side of the room. And I did that. I listened to the coaches. I did the routine, and it, I don't know why Vader missed it. It was hot all night, but <laughs> any other player probably wouldn't even try to get a rebound. But I just stuck to the principles, and the ball bounced, and I out my man. When you, missed, when you missed the two before that, was there any hesitancy to take it? Nah. Nope. You know, Travis, 77 74, probably like 20 seconds left. Say to Mark, like they missed this three, that's probably game over. It's going three throws. Do you like that pressure situation? What was going through your mind there when you knew you probably had to hit the biggest three of the year for you? Yeah, um, you know, I've been in those situations a lot this uh, this season. Um, you know, we were in a similar situation down at uh, Callahan Hall uh, earlier in the season, and you know, um, you know, same thing. Guy missed a shot, kick out to me, and and I made it. So, you know, I I like those situations where I got to be uh, called upon it to do something and, um, you know, knock a shot down. But uh, I, I think the best part of this game was just uh, the way Duke picked me up after I missed the shot in overtime. And not necessarily how he made the shot, but just how he just went and crashed to get the rebound. Dude, this isn't your first uh, buzzing cube this year. What is it about the end of the situation that, uh, that just brings the best out of you? Uh, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but like I said earlier, I got ice in my veins. And <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I was just I was just playing ball and, uh, and went in. Okay, you uh, your team was down by five, and uh, you were looking for offense, and you scored four consecutive points, which was really crucial to your team. Uh, was there plays called for you or designed for you, or did you just find it within yourself to take it? I just, I just found it I, throughout the floor of the offense. I seen the wide open lane, and I took it. And luckily, I was able to make those layups and hit those shots. Help my team win. Any more questions for the players? Yeah, but you sense right from the get-go, that you had seen your effort, that it seemed everybody knew they had to pick it up a notch with the energy and the building. Yeah, I think I think this game right here was like a stepping stone towards the rest of the season. You know, the energy was there from the crowd. They gave it to us, and we took it, ran with it, and came out with the win. But we know we had to get stops, and we got them in the clutch. And that's what matters. And I was playing like crap, and my team had, teammates had to pick me up, so they, they did a great job. And then I missed a shot, and Duke picked me up. So. <laughs> Oh uh, well, you talking about the one that was eight seconds left or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we knew his his strong hand. He loved going right, and uh, we forced him to go his his weak hand left. It kind of slowed him up a little bit and threw him off a little bit, and, and then, uh, I guess that would made him throw that left that long pass. I mean, long shot at the end. Travis. Did you find yourself feeding off Jawan Howard? Like every time you would make a basket, you wanted to come down and match it for your team? Not really. Um, you know, there's been a couple different situations like that. Uh, in my junior year, it kind of went back and forth with Nate Walters. But, you know, I just found uh, open looks within the offense and um, knocked those shots down. And, uh, you know, hopefully if he was missing shots, I would like to believe that I'd still be making those shots. So, um, no, I don't think I was really feeding off that. I was just playing my game. I mean, this is a true rivalry. Um, you know, back when we were in the Summit League, we would kind of try to figure out who was our rival. We would play South Dakota State and be like, okay, this is a rival game. We play Oral Roberts and we'd claim that a rival game. So um, before it really wasn't known, but 
obviously when you have two teams that are this close to each other, and um, you're really fighting for Detroit, and you're fighting for the fans of Detroit, and um, this is this is what college basketball is all about, and tonight's atmosphere, um, that's college basketball. Any more questions for the players? All right, gentlemen, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thanks.